Good afternoon, good evening. Hey guys, so I'm here putting on my makeup and I don't know why I'm putting on makeup because I'm just about to study. I might go live for a little bit, but Molly is talking about Betty again because that's what brings her numbers. And Justin is in there in their chat talking about Betty's roots. They're just being childish. That's why I call them all trash bags, right? Trash bags for all. Go harder for trash. Molly. Bullhorn Bozo. And Jaundice for all. Fighting amongst themselves. And I think it's wonderful. But anyway. Molly goes live with her see-through shirt on. Showing her saggy boobs. And she's talking about Betty again. Um, so apparently Molly wants Betty to get punched in the face. She wants her to get punched and she wants JLR to cover it. <laughs> wow, Molly. Now you want your friend to get punched in the face. How adolescent of you. So let's hear what she has to say. Shall we? We shall. Mm -hmm. I've worked with Betty. Uh-huh. She's going to get punched in the face. Not by me. Well, somebody's uh -huh. going to punch her in the fucking face. And you know... You know... <sighs> Molly's using the fact that she's worked with Betty now as a flex. I, I wouldn't use that as a flex, you know? And working, quote-unquote, with Betty. Is that what you call it? Is that what you call standing in front of people's house playing children crying? Is that what you guys call working? Did, did you guys... Oh, yeah, you did get paid. Super chat after super chat, PayPal after PayPal, uh, cash app after cash app. You scammed the people. What you guys did was you called misery for a family. You harassed a family of a missing child. That's what you did. That's what you guys did. You harassed a family with a bullhorn. You harassed them. You asked them about a child in such a way, a vile menacing way that I, I I pray for your souls really not only you guys but Mallory and Justin showed up with his makeup on I mean come on now Justin didn't do that much but he was there and that's the point and then Dolly came I mean <sighs> trash but what I hope mm -hmm. I hope John and you Richards is at the scene where well our Betty just got fucking punched in the face listen to this and then she, this person who claims to be religious or believes in God, literally puts her hands together like she's praying for for harm to come to Betty. Now, I might not like Bullhorn Bozo for many reasons, but I don't wish harm to come to her or anybody on this platform. Okay, there's a line that I don't cross. I don't want harm to come to anybody. Even Corey, even Tammy. I don't wish harm to come to them. I don't want to see anything happen to them. Ever. We have to be adults. You have to separate YouTube from real life. In real life, if somebody gets hit by a car, they're gone. In real life, if somebody gets cancer, they're no longer here with us. Guess what? You can't... You can't... Once you say something... On your YouTube channel, you can't rewind it unless you say, okay, I shouldn't have said that, you know, but it's out there. Like, why would you say something like that? And I can't believe I'm sticking up for Betty, but that's not okay. Ugh. Super chat galore. Wow. People paying for it. That's nice. They're actually lying. They're uh, doing underhanded, that's nice. unlawful stuff. And it doesn't give you that. Who's doing unlawful stuff? I think that's you, Betty. Come, mm. Slow your roll. I think that that would be you, dear. You need to calm the fuck down because I would never, if I was still friends with her and she was like, oh, gotta look into the Sebastian case. For what? Are we looking for the kid? Then what else are we doing? Mm hmm. Because guess what? Sitting oh, 
So you bring up a good point. What were you guys doing with summer? What what, what were you guys doing when 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 you went sit in front of that house instead of harassing a family? What were you guys here on the screen doing instead of collecting money to harass a family? What what was your purpose in in that case? You know, since you asked her, what is she doing? Is she looking for anybody? What were you guys doing when you called yourself boots on the ground? Because all I witnessed is you putting on your little get up, looking like you're about to bust out of that outfit. Betty pretending that she had a team. Justin putting on his Sunday best, apparently, allegedly. Uh, Mallory pretending to be a black woman and collecting super chats and begging and begging and begging all of you and you made a buffoon of yourself and then you guys did a spinoff where you're going to have a show on some network because you felt like you were that important so please don't sit here and be hypocritical and act like betty is not doing anything that you guys haven't already done come on molly please we all know who exactly you are you're mad because your youtube channel got yeeted you're also mad because Betty's getting attention and now you feel the only way you can you can redeem yourself is going after her. We all see you. Girl, bye. Around talking, it doesn't work. What mm -hmm. Bullhorn Betty does that works mm -hmm. is her pressure campaigns. Oh, that's called pressure? When she got together with Jonathan, when she got mm -hmm. together with Dolly, they were effective every oh. fucking time. Is that right? Did she stop doing that? Uh -huh. Because that was the heart of Bullhorn Bay. Oh my gosh. Was her and that Bullhorn standing outside. Of people's house harassing them. Intimidating the shit out of people. Wow. So you admit that you guys were intimidating the crap out of people. That was effective. How was it effective? How? Explain that to us, Molly. How is that effective? All you people in the chat, just and for all, wow. 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 You feel because you had, um, um, where your people donated to St. Jude and I'm talking about the people in your chat that were generous. You know, maybe you donated some money too. And God bless you for that. Your good deed, though, was overshadowed by the horrible things that you said. The things that you did to people. Like you got that woman um, fired from Ashley Furniture. For no reason, you and Betty. Right? Right? With your, quote, bullhorn, your pressure campaign. Well, I call it Karenism on both of your behalves. So you're saying the only thing that was effective was her pressure campaign. I call that Karenism as well. I call it being obscene. I call it making a spectacle of yourself, of yourselves. You're all idiots. Stay on YouTube. Stop going into real life. Stop interfering in people's families. Stop irritating. Stop irritating law enforcement and interfering with law enforcement's investigations and stay in your place. Know your place. Know your role. You have no role. And that's just it. You're a geek. You're a lonely housewife with nothing to do. Find a hobby. Betty, find a job. Justin, find a foundation that works for you. Dolly, you're hopeless. I don't know why people even follow you. Stop scamming that stupid game you have. And Ma and Mallory, you are where you need to be with two people in your chat. I don't care who watches my videos. I do this to get my voice out and say what I have to say. If people watch it, they watch it. If they don't, guess what? They don't. Does Betty use conditioner? <laughs> Stop. Okay. Now we're being very childish because here's what I want to ask to you, Molly. When you put that shirt on today, since you want to attack her looks, did you ever think maybe I should put a camisole underneath that because it's see-through? Did you ever think that you should buy a bra that fits, that maybe has support in it? 
Did you think of that? Because even though you have fake breasticles, they're saggy. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think to wash your hair? Maybe mm, once a month. Because, you know, um, being though you have fine hair, um, it probably attracts dirt and oil. No matter how much makeup we put on, we still see your hair, honey. Yeah, okay? Please don't wear that shirt tomorrow because we know your pattern of wearing the same thing over and over and over again. Okay? Yeah. She's lost it over the case. Just like you, Molly, lose it over cases, right? You lost it over Melissa Schumann. You became obsessed with Melissa Schumann. Girl, you have some nerve. Do you see the hypocrisy, you guys? Wow, I'm going to have to... Uh, wow, let's just end it here. Molly, you have some nerve interjecting yourself in the Bullhorn Betty saga because... You are just as bad, if not worse. Betty is a mental case. So is you. Oh, and here's Justin's comment. Oh my God, this. I've Well, I've been called a Democrat by one person and now transphobic. I'm a middle-aged man that wears more makeup in one day than many w women in a week, but I'm the transphobic one. The fuck? What's wrong with being a Democrat, Justin? Hmm? You got a problem with Democrats? I don't know how you're transphobic because I don't watch you. Um, you do wear a lot of makeup. Um, you really do. Maybe you should let your skin breathe. I don't know what you look like without makeup. If you choose to wear makeup, guess what? That's good for you. If it makes you feel good, do it. Do it well. And you know what? I think your, your makeup has improved since you got on here. To be honest, it looks kind of nice now, actually. It's a little much, but it looks better than it did. But I don't know how you're transphobic. So somebody told me what he said that's transphobic. But what gets me is that you're offended about being called a Democrat. You can offend a lot of people in your in your audience by uh, speaking about politics. Especially if you um, sit here and say that it's a problem about being a Democrat, Justin. You punk rock bitch. Okay. Anyway, you guys have a good day. Comment below your comments. Do you think that Marissa, aka Molly, aka Go Harder, is a hypocrite for even going after Betty or making comments in the first place? Do you think she's a trash bag as well? Also, do you think Betty has lost her ever-loving mind and is having a mental breakdown? And do you think that Molly should have let Justin on the phone since he's begging for a, a link or a voice on her channel, which I don't understand. I guess he's doing it because Betty has bashed him from <laughs> to hell and back. And do you think that JLR will eventually bust Betty out on all her secrets? I think he's happy in a relationship and could care less about Betty because Molly says he's going to bust her out on her secrets. Some people, when they move on from a situation, really don't care anymore. And hopefully that's his stance. I don't know much about JLR. I've not heard very good things about him, but I've never watched him for myself. I, I don't care. Sometimes with the people you align yourself with, that's all I need to know. As far as Dolly, if you house a red dot uh, and it's your brother and you think it's okay, uh, no. And the things he does on his platform, he went after my friend Savage. Uh, he likens himself with bombshell uh he also does this game where like <sighs> that game is there there's something to that game that just seems fishy to me and people have found hair in his soap and he doesn't actually make the soap he's never demonstrated that he's made the soap i think he buys it off of ebay or something so that's a scam too uh, if you say that you're like a, like an Etsy creator and you make custom items, maybe you should actually make them. Just, just a thought. But hey, he's making money, bought a camper, is living well off these people. And Betty's buying 
thousand dollar cameras. You guys, these people that support these people are dumb as heck. Meanwhile, uh, people like me are getting um, accused of making all kinds of money by idiots on my channel when I can't even break a hundred views on a video. I don't hit my, I list my cash app, but nobody ever sends me a tip for a video that I actually edit and put time into. I don't get super thanks. You can look at my, my, uh, comment section. You don't see super thanks. So please stop accusing me of getting money when I'm not. I didn't get a check from YouTube last month. These people are raking in money. I'm not. That's who you need to focus on. It's the people that are taking advantage of their crowds, that their audiences that you need to focus on. Those are the people you need to rise up against. Not little peons like me. Anyway, you guys have a good day. If you like the video, please share it. Give it a like. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.